And as the fighting in Ukraine continues for a fourth straight morning, reaction is pouring in from across the world. I spoke with a former U.S. diplomat in the Soviet Union on what he's seeing in Ukraine. At one point, I thought, well, there, it's an, uh, Russia's becoming an international rogue country, but really what's happened is they have become an international outlaw by doing this. Former Ambassador Melvin Levitsky served as a political officer in Moscow and later as the officer in charge of U.S.-Soviet relations at the height of the Cold War. What he saw then, he sees echoes of now in Ukraine. The technique is very similar to what the Soviets used to use. After all, Putin comes from the Soviet period. He was K KGB during that time. That is, you phony up a a request for a country for help or from, in this case, from part of a country for help. And then you invade in order to protect whatever he's calling a genocide. This is ridiculous. Levitsky also says the president's decision to sanction Russian banks, elites and Putin himself is in line with American diplomacy, hoping to avoid a full scale war. Sanctions have to be uh, carefully graded. If you use, if you, you know, if you just use all of them in the beginning they won't be they won't be effective because the 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 party that you're putting them on say well that you know they've put them on us already what do we have to lose but in the end if it's a soldier who prays for peace it's a diplomat who hopes to speak it into existence as a former diplomat i think there's always a diplomatic solution if you can get people to sit down at the table show where there are shared interests, put them aside, say we don't want war, we don't want violence, we don't want to have our people killed in a war, and let's look at the tricky questions that maybe we can negotiate on. And Levitsky added that even if Russia does succeed, it may not be able to hold Ukraine, saying it's one thing to take over a country, but it's something very different to try to run one, especially one with people as defiant as the Ukrainians are now.